It's 2015 and we're still not flying around in jetpacks. If the collective world of science and engineering had a complaint line, it would probably be ringing off the hook. But there's a faint glimmer of hope on the horizon for 2016 and we'll show you why. Test flights for the Martin Jetpack started in 2013, and initial hype for the Jetpack dates back to 2008 when they first went public with details. But 2016 is the actual date you can put in your calendar. Now this Jetpack might not be a Jetpack in the truest sense of the word, seeing as it's a fan-propelled craft, but in many ways it still fulfills the itch for a personal flying machine. But I guess more accurately, it's kind of like a human-sized drone. So what does it actually do? Well, the Martin Jetpack is a single pilot craft capable of vertical takeoff and landing, and will remain airborne for up to 30 minutes at a time. In the air, it will achieve speeds of around 46 miles per hour while cruising at altitudes of around 3,000 feet. When it eventually goes on sale in the second half of 2016 for about $200,000, they imagine that the most interested buyers will be using them for emergency response tasks, like rescue missions in places that need fast response times, and places where helicopters might not easily fit. The jetpack can also be controlled remotely, so it might be useful for flying it over to someone that needs saving, so they can step in and fly away. I mean that and board wealthy people, which is of course the most lucrative segment for any high-end gadget. So what do you guys think of the Martin Jetpack? Does it get the job done for you? Or does science need to go back to the drawing board and come back with something better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time on Big Shiny Things.